Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Um, original Lady Eve Elements. It's a real LLC. Listen, so I was doing a reading because I'm tired of hearing about this magician cloaking them fucking cells because of whatever fucking reason, right? So I pre-shuffled and I did some cards because I'm fucking nosy, right? So one of the tarot readers... One of the tarot readers mentioned, as a matter of fact, I'm going to mention her name, pretty and prophetic. She mentioned that there's a magician cloaking themselves using Virgo energy. So we're not really stealth on if it's an actual astrological sign, Virgo, sun, moon, or rising, right? So I said, hmm, I'm, I'm real curious because I'm going to try to find out this magician that she, that pretty and prophetic claim cloaking themselves right they're attacking people group of people someone right so i said hmm this is curious because why is someone cloaking themselves just to attack somebody right i did use my tarot cards by southern mystic tarot and found out that this magician that is cloaking themselves, this individual is attacking a particular individual. It's not a group of people, to be exact. This Virgo energy, and I say energy loosely because, again, we're not stuck or stoked on if this individual is an actual Vir sun in Virgo, right? But they're cloaking themselves trying to use another individual's energy possibly or they could be using an energy from their natal birth chart because you can do that right i've seen a lot of stars do it like beyonce claims she's a virgo but when she first came out her son is in capricorn like rihanna when she first came out she's aquarius but now it's all over the internet oh i'm a pisces they're using either their rising sign, their moon sign, or something else in HR. Anyway, this is what this individual is doing. Same shit, right? Or they could literally be using someone else's energy. Either way, I'm getting to the point here. This magician, that pretty and prophetic claim that's cloaking themselves, this individual was part of a third party. This is the third party that someone left. Why do I say this? Because the card came out third party reversed, okay? Third party reversed. Third party reverse. Someone left this person. Someone left this person and they feeling hella mad. Someone left this person possibly to go back towards their family, right? Because these two came out. Third party reversed and family. This third party probably tried to create a family with someone else's person. And that person left their ass ghosted rather because communication came out in the reverse. Right? Music. Now, this person don't have to be in the industry, but music to me creates what? Harmony, right? But it's in a reverse. So, this person basically is in disarray because someone decided they no longer wanted to be with them. Okay? Them meaning they are the third party. So, this magician cloaking themselves is the third party. Noticing someone that went and paid someone to do the work. This is someone who's doing the work. The third party is the witch or warlock doing the work, right? Witch rather doing the work. And this person's hella mad. They're mad. Their their life is in disarray. There's disharmony here. They got left because some deception was found out. Right? And once whatever that deception was that was found out, it could be your person. That person's person, whoever, right? Somebody found out that this third party was a faker. They were lying about something. They were being very deceptive. And they got left behind. Someone decided with fitness reverse, they no longer wanted to work on this. And that's why they got dropped. They got fucking ghosted. This person no longer is in communication with them or contacting. The whole community is gossiping about this shit. Because, again... Your person could have had family with this witch. Okay. 
and found out this person even possibly could have had a baby bop your person because family is here with third party reverse right so this person could your person collective could have even had a family with this witch found out the kid ain't days deception is here because everybody talking about it so this is how they found out because we got deception and we got gossip okay they got left behind because they were being deceptive this person ghosted them this thief in the reverse no longer a thief because now what, what can they steal they're not even a twin flame to the person that they was messing with or lying to or being deceptive towards they're not even taking care of themselves self-care reverse this person don't love themselves they don't love themselves and they're online watching you matrix Unbelievable. All their plans are coming undone. That's why they got left behind. Now. It became crystal clear to the other person that they need to leave whoever this witch was because this witch was doing fucking spell work over them. This person lacks direction in life. New direction reversed. Also, whatever they threw out came back to their ass. That's why new direction is also reversed. So, I was using, what is that, the Halloween deck? Either way. So, as I'm reading this person, we got black cat sideways. There's points in times where this person uses their intuition and points in times when they fucking don't. I believe when this person is all up in their feelings, it throws their tuition, their intuition. I said tuition. So, this person could be someone who's in college or someone who teaches. I heard professor, profession, something of the sort. But whenever this person is all up in their feels, it throws off their intuition, right? Like right now, their tuition is off, their intuition, tuition, Lord. Someone goes to college. Whoever this third party is that got left behind by your person collective, they're in college. They're behind on their tuition payments, okay? Because I keep picking that up. Because they're too fucking focused on the person that left them. This person could be wondering if the person that they took from you is back with you. Some of you ain't even back with your exes, but this person, this college student is so fucking paranoid or professor is so fucking paranoid. It's ridiculous. Now, like I said, at points in time, they use the intuition at points in time. They don't, this person could own a black cat or any color cat for that matter, but they do own a cat. Mm -hmm. this, per this person right now this feminine energy is sitting in her grief she's grieving you know why she's grief she, you know why she realized she fucked up she's not protected protection came out in the reverse one point in time she had three guides that were protecting her now mind you if you read the book of Geisha right King Solomon whatever Solomonic magic, anything. If you know anything about angels and when you're birthed and stuff like that, you would know that when you're born, you're born with three protectors. Each one has a specific job to protect you in some way, shape, or form. I'm not going to get into that. But either way, this person is grieving because they have no protection. Their protection is broken. Why is their protection broke? Because they attacked you, divine feminine, divine masculine, whoever. Whoever this person was attacking, if they, 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 don't, they don't have no protection. Not from their ancestors, not from even the demons, not from nobody. Whatever protection this person had is no longer, right? Then we got the underworld. This person was dabbling in some dark-ass magic. They were dabbling with the elements. And if you know anything about the elements and how to harness each of them, to create a unit of one, earth, air, fire, water, wood, right? Because it's five elements, not four. All right, and this person is a possible earth sign. They don't necessarily have to be a Virgo, but they can have a rising sign, Virgo, or moon in Virgo, okay? This could be possibly a Taurus or Capricorn that's doing this shit. I see the horns, all right? This person, 
was messing around, worshiping the god Pan, P-A-N. All right, fucking around with nature spirits, but with the underworld reverse and nature spirits, right? This whole shit got turned on this person. These elements that were protecting them, as well as their guardians that were protecting them, including that cat that they got. <laughs> <laughs> They're not protected. What's so fucking ever? Let me pull my other day. I decided to get up on here and figure out who this fucking magician is because it's it's really interesting to find out how people are just stupid over a piece of ass. Excuse my language, YouTube, but some people are just ridiculous fighting over a, a penis or a vagina. Or because they're afraid to sit by themselves and do the work and, you know, just enjoy the silence. Study chasing down exes or trying to figure out where the person is. Look, if the person don't want you, they don't fucking want you. If you were being deceptive in a relationship, stealing someone's person from them, lying on that person that you stole, you're lying to them about the person that you stole them from, and making up all kinds of things. What you think gonna happen? They eventually gonna find out that you're a liar. You're very deceptive. A fiery climax approaches to whatever this person is doing because they're not protected. The answers you need are coming is in the reverse for this individual. I told you they're not following their intuitions. This whole shit is about to backfire. Full moon and Aries. The Aries Gemini energy. Mm -hmm. What's going on with this individual? Let me clarify these cards for a I just wanted to hop on here and clarify who this magician was trying to hide and, and cloak themselves, trying to attack innocence. Give me some cards on this magician. Who is this magician? Current energy surrounding this magician trying to cloak themselves and harm either the collective with black magic or individual that's within the collective trying to harm them with black magic. What is this? Show me what I need to see regarding this cloaking, this individual that's cloaking themselves. They're trying to hide their energy. One way you can hide your energy is wearing all black because it's like a void. Now, a new romantic cycle begins, Moon and Libra. This possibly could be a Libra that's doing this shit. We're going to look into it. Let me get one more card. One more Moon Oracle. Give me the current energy surrounding. This person could be doing come to me spells to make that person that ghosts them come back. <laughs> Their magic is moving slow. It's slow for them to get the money to make the offers to whatever deity they're fucking worshiping and shit. Remember, they're doing elemental magic, nature spirits, right? New romantic cycle begins. New moon and Libra. They could have done a, a love spell on the new moon. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. This came out in the reverse. This person's not committed to any damn thing. They committed to selfishness. All right, they don't want to be tested. They don't want their commitment to be tested because they're really not committed. They just hella bent on taking someone's person, making sure that person is miserable. So basically, they focus on y'all collective. This person's focused on y'all, whatever way, whatever reason, way, shape, or form. This person's focused on y'all. This person's being asked to surrender to the divine. This person surrender, they'll be able to find their person. The person that's truly meant for them. The divine is also asking this person to leave you the fuck alone. Too. A time for healing. They need to stop doing what they're doing and heal themselves. Because this is an unhealed individual. They're not healed whatsoever. They're still doing love spells. Sex domination spells is what I intuitively picked up on. <sighs> Still trying to dominate someone's bottom part. <laughs> okay. 
Tell me about this black cat, this grief. What of this black cat, this grief? Yeah, the person's still doing love spells. I gather this person does this to everybody. But you know what's so funny? I'm picking up intuitively. This person's love spells don't work. They work for a short period of time and they don't work. And this person can't understand why. This person does obsession spells, dark magic obsession spells with people they come in contact with. They do dark magic obsession spells. And when they get that person in the bedroom, they do binding spells with that person's bodily fluids. Nut rag, I heard. Someone's taking someone's uh, condom. If you're a man and you're messing with people for one night stand, take your condom with you and do not throw it outside the house in their personal garbage. Take it with you, not even to your house. Take it with you and throw that bitch in a river or some shit. Let the fucking nature spirits take it away. Don't, don't leave it in your house because I have a feeling this person goes over to someone's house. Okay? At one point in time, they was going to someone's house. They stole your person. Your person could have been living with this person as well. Tell me about this grief. Damn, it came right out. Yeah. With this uh, grief and this black cat in the sideways position, right? Like I said, sometimes they use the intuition, sometimes they don't. I get a feeling someone's sitting in their kitchen griefing over the fact that someone ghosted their ass or griefing over the fact. See, they thought it was funny that your person ghosted you, right? Tables turned. Now they in a mental imprisonment or this person's about to get locked up. Look, mental conflict, swords. Could be dealing with a Gemini, leave with Aquarius. Some moon rising, Venus, Mercury. Because I heard Mercury. This is some shit. Ooh, look at this. Hey, hey, right. Okay. This person's being distracted in their minds I write about now. Okay. Sorry for the commercial, y'all. But yeah, there's some mental entrapment here going on. This person can't see. There's something that they can't see. Cause they're too busy griefing over it. Tell me about protection reverse and underworld reverse for this magician that's cloaking themselves. So if they're no longer protected, they're no longer cloaked. Either there's some information coming to this person. This person could be getting news or information that they know that they're not protected. All right. We got Page of Wands with the King of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. Loss of protection. <laughs> Tell me more. Give me one more card for this protection reverse in the underworld reverse. This, this person at one point in time was protected, but now they're not. They could be. Let me see. Because I'm hearing strongly they could have paid for someone to protect them. And then they themselves went out and did what they did to attack you, Collective. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's like, all that time, all that energy, all that money to protect me. Ain't shit work. They grief them. There's grief. A lot of disappointments. They feel they put time, energy, effort into all of taking your person from you, protecting themselves, attacking you, attacking your person, using sex spells. They did all this work to take your person's money because I see King of Pentacles reversed here with the Seven of Pentacles here and they're griefing. The person that was with them is also griefing because this person is realizing that they lost a lot of money being around this individual. Now this person's bitter. Queen of Swords... Reverse Libra energy, Aquarius energy. Okay. More or less Libra energy. That Libra's here twice because I'm going to show you something. We got the Queen of Swords reverse. A new romantic cycle begins in Libra. Look. 
New moon in Libra, meant to say. See that? Libra. It's a Libra doing that shit, supposed themselves to be a Virgo. So this could be a Libra sun, or moon, or rising in Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Look. <laughs> you know why they pissed off? They paid, they, they paid money out to buy supplies, to do shit, and it didn't work. Look, I told you, bonds and spells. Your person that they took from you is chained to the devil no longer. Sex domination spells. Look at it. They used handcuffs, voodoo dolls, candle magic. I'm telling you, they just work with the elements here. Look at this shit. The bind your person, your person broke free from this bullshit. Five of Wands reversed. It could have been at one point in time five people helping this individual, but now these five people don't want to help this person no more. These five people were under this person's spell as well or command. Right? Mm -mm. I'll tell you right now. Your person left this person. This person is very dramatic. Your person don't want no drama from this idiot. And so that now they're mad. Griefing. Sitting there griefing. And they, they unprotected ass. What is nature spirits with the underworld reverse? Show me underworld reverse and nature spirits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person's being very stubborn. So at one point in time, this person could have been someone who was one night stand. Your person left them alone, and they came back around. Five of Pentacles reversed. Being stubborn, Scorpio energy. Look, they came back around being stubborn because they didn't want it to end. Ignorance is bliss. I just heard dry sex. Sex ain't even good with this person. Like, ugh. Nobody likes having sex with this person. They don't. They don't got that wop. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then you know about the sex. Cause first of all, this person gets people with freaking love spells and shit. Underworld reverse with nature spirits. Yeah, this is some type. This is the type of person that will go out into the forest and do magic. Literally, I'm picking up Caucasian for some reason. The tower. Yeah, they came back around. Because they're ignorant and they're fucking stubborn. Look at this shit. Two major arcanas here. The tower, right? With the devil reversed. They black magic backfired on the ass. It came undone and it backfired. They're about to lose everything. Fucking with a real one. And you ain't even got to lift a fucking finger. Their money's blocked. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Their blessings, whatever their blessings were, especially financial blessings, is there is taken away now. Now they're blocked. No long, no more financial blessings. This person is coming up as every energy in the deck because remember what I said. You're messing with nature spirits. This is how they cloak on themselves. You know how they cloak on themselves? Because when you do a reading on this motherfucker, they'll come up as the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups reversed. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. They'll come up as the Devil. The Devil reversed. Right? Queen of Cups reversed. Cry, baby. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Scorpio, energy. Let me tell you why. Look. Let me show you something. See the Queen of Cups reverse? See the Tower? See the Death card reverse? That's pure Scorpio energy. Tells you who this person is. Okay? It's a water sign with Earth in a chart. That's all I'm going to tell you. Sun and Scorpio, and they have Earth in their charts. I'm telling you. Okay? That's who's cloaking themselves to be like an earth sign. It's a water sign. You really, if you want to fucking know, it's a water sign. Someone very indignant. And, okay, very ignorant. Very stubborn as fuck. Okay. 
Tell me about this new cycle. A new romantic cycle begins for this magician cloaking themselves. This Virgo energy. It's, it's dead up Scorpio. Whenever I see more cards pointing towards a particular sun sign, that's that sun sign. Yeah, look. King of Pentacles upright, clarifying a new, a new, look at this, a new romantic cycle. Libra, Scorpio. We got air, earth, and a chart. This is a definite water sign. Libra's here twice, but we got Scorpio here one, two, three times. So when one outweighs the other, that's that particular sign. Look at this. King of Pentacles. I'm just trying to get your person back with sex. Communicate into this King of Pentacles here. Trying to communicate. Well, this could be a new person. They're trying to get into their little web. <laughs> they they see people. This is the type of individual that sees someone with money. And they start doing it. It came out again. God damn it. This is a whore. This is a whore. Male or female, it's a whore. Remember, this person likes to cloak their energy. So you can't tell male, female, what sign they are. They, they real slick, but they stupid because they're not protected. Look. Empress. Your person's trying to come back to you. Your person's trying to come back to you, but your person's trying to come back to you, Empress. Whoever you are, Taurus, Libra, Energy. Whoever you are, Collective, you're the Empress, right? You have a King of Pentacles that that's well established. Could be a boss, business owner. Doesn't have to be. Could be a hard worker that saves their money too. <coughs> but this person is a playboy. You're facing the sun, Collective. This is you. Okay, you're shining bright like a diamond. You have a lot of opportunities in business and in personal life. Love, work, and life. You have a lot of opportunities. The sun is shining down on you. Okay? You are the empress, right? And you have this ex who left you. Spell or no spell. That's that's a, just a fucking hoe. This person created all this fucking conflict from a bitch that you don't even know. Don't shit at you. See this? This that bullshit. And he's, look at this. Giving the two people. If this person's trying to come in and keep a balance with you because why they see you single and abundant, self sufficient. Some of you could be business owners out there. All right. Again, this is someone from your past that you left that's not a soulmate with the lovers reverse. This person is choosing you to come back because they want to marry you. you you're you're definitely, you, okay. And if this is a new person coming in, this new person left someone. And this person is in the background being a magician trying to cloak themselves, trying to fuck with your energy collective. How do they know you? They really don't know you. But this person could have got a reading, tarot card reading on a person that, that left them that's coming towards you. And they seen your energy in those cards. So there's a marriage here with a Taurus. Someone's choosing. There's a Taurus that's choosing you. Look. Is that Virgo energy and Virgo energy? We all know you're Scorpio. Well, you got Scorpio. Let me see something. This person Scorpio rising or Scorpio moon. So this Earth sign doesn't have no success. They realize that. I just heard public shaming. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> this tour is coming towards you. This earth sign coming towards you, this person sees you. You're illuminated to this individual. You got two people coming for you, the past and the new person. The new person. Give me a second. Yeah, King of Cups and King of Swords. Is okay, so. I see you blocked off two individuals here. We got King of Cups, King of Swords, and Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So I see y'all blocked off someone. This could be past energy, but I'm looking at something here. You do have a Playboy coming towards you, though. Okay? 
This person try to get to you and someone. This person sees you as as single, self sufficient, very abundant. You harness your time, your energy, and you balance that. You balance basically work and family. And this person likes that. This person just got out of a high committed relationship here. So this person coming towards you is in their head. Yes, this person is a player that left this magician in the past. They just left this person. They felt like this is not a successful relationship. This person is too deceptive. So no amount of magic, sex magic at that can hold this Taurus. It's a fucking Taurus. But Taurus was messing with a witch. They're messing with a witch. But they're coming towards you. Okay, I'm going to show you something. They're coming towards you, collective. Look. But be mindful. This Taurus is a playboy. And you don't have to be a Taurus. It could be Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay? Masculine and feminine. Look the rules as they apply. I just wanted to look into whoever this freaking person is that was poking themselves. All right? This person could be... The person that's the magician here, this feminine energy, and it is feminine. This person could be a Taurus, Sun, Scorpio, Moon. That's the person that was doing a lot of shit. They go for people with money, okay? People with money. There's someone who likes people with money. Nothing else. There ain't no love there. There were no cups. And I, I kid you not. This person don't, don't love even themselves. <clears throat> Ooh, God bless me. Oh. That's facts, because I just sneeze. This person don't know self-love, self-care. They'll pretend to know self-love, self-care, but internally, they don't. Okay. Whatever this is, whether they Caucasian, whether they Asian, whether they black, I don't care what your culture is right now, nationality. At the end of the day, internally, this individual cloaking themselves, throwing witchcraft and all that shit, it's wasting their fucking time. And this person continuously do does this next, next, next. Like they, they do it to anybody they feel has money that they can get money from. This is this person. That's your reading.